Hello all, I am Manisha and we will be discussing find the survivor puzzle. The puzzle goes like this. There are 100 people standing in a circle in an order 1 to 100. Number 1 has a sword. He kills the next person that is number 2 and gives the sword to next to next that is number 3. All person does the same until only one survives. We need to tell which is the number that is going to survive at the last. So very basic approach to do this would be to write down all the numbers from 1 to n and manually uh, eliminate those which are getting killed and finally we will reach to a conclusion. The problem with this approach would be that for n is equal to 100 we are still able to do it but if n is equal to 1000 or even more for larger values of n basically it will get tough and time consuming. So let's reach out to a more generalized solution and in order to reach to our generalized solution Let's first start with basic values, small values. So for n is equal to 1, there is only one person and he will be the survivor. For n is equal to 2, 1 and 2, we have two people with us. 1 will kill 2 and answer will be 1. For n is equal to 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. We have even number of people with us. So 1 will kill 2, 3 will kill 4. 5 will kill 6, 7 will kill 8 and pass the sword to 1. So in case number of people are even, the first one, the one who had sword initially will get the sword back. So after this 1, 3, 5 and 7, they will remain. So 1 will kill 3, pass the sword to 5, 5 will kill 7 and pass the sword to 1. So 1 and 5 will remain next, 1 will kill 5 and finally 1 will be the answer. So uh, two things that we can observe over here. So first is if the number of people are even, the first who has the sword will get back the sword after every round. And in case of 1, 2 and 8, the answer is 1. So it's not actually the number 1 but basically the person who had sword initially will be the one ultimately with the sword at the, last, at the end. So he will be the answer. So n is equal to 1 goes 2 to the power 0 n is equal to 2 is 2 to the power 1, n is equal to 8 is 2 to the power 3 and even for n is equal to 64 the answer would be 1. Let's see how. We have 64 people with us after first round half of them will be killed so 32 sword will be passed to 1. Now with 32 sword is with 1 half of them will be killed we have 16 remaining sword will be passed to 1 again. Now half of them will be killed again. So 8, sword is with 1, then 4, then 2 and finally only one person will remain and that is nobody else but number 1. So number 1 will be the answer. But we need to solve it for n is equal to 100. 100 is not of order of 2 as we can see. So let's figure out what is the nearest order of 2. I think it's 2 to the power 6 and that is 64. So when there will be 64 survivors, I think the case will be similar to the one we discussed above. When there are 64 survivors, the person who will have the sword initially will be the survivor ultimately. So let's see when will be the case uh, that we are starting with 100 and we will have 64 survivors. So in order to have 64 survivors, there will be a stage when 36 will be killed. Let's see when will that happen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. 1 will kill 2, 3 will kill 4 and 71 till 72. So 71 will kill 72. Now 72 by 2 is 36. So half of them will be killed. 36 people are killed and the sword is with 73. When 36 people are killed we have 64 survivors and as we said we will discuss when we are reaching that so we have 64 survivors and the sword is with 73 so 73 is the answer. Thank you.